yeah some yeah honestly i just feel like cutting off my hair like legit cutting it off and starting over and i've been feeling that way for the last few months <sighs> yeah let's get into it let's get it Hey my lovelies, welcome and welcome back to my channel where I break down the fundamentals of my hair care. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Dina and over here we talk about everything relaxed hair. So if that's content that you're interested in, you want to know a little bit more about your relaxed hair, you want to follow my relaxed hair journey a little bit more, then by all means, I'm not forcing you, but do consider subscribing to my channel for more content such as this. Today's video guys, uh, I just want us to talk about my hair. I wanted to come and give you an update. It's not a planned, planned video. It's one of those videos where I'll just be talking and just sharing with you what's on my mind and what I have planned for my hair in the next few months, the condition of my hair as is, and just letting you know if I'm gonna cut it, <laughs> if I'm gonna cut it and start over, you know, what's the plan? What's the plan? So I'm gonna be looking down on my phone. So please excuse me for that. I trust that you will, but my notes are here on my phone. So I just wanted to start off by saying, I'm tired of my hair. <laughs> I don't know if that's bad, but I'm really just sick and tired of my hair. I'm tired of doing what I know my hair wants, but at the same time, my hair is not rewarding me for it. Do you know what I mean? Because my routine hasn't necessarily changed, but we get to that. It hasn't necessarily changed over the years, but before my hair used to be rewarding me for the things that I did, you know, washing my hair once a week, deep conditioning once a week, moisturizing and sealing every night. I have not deviated much from that over the years, but for some reason, I just feel like my hair is stuck. I have watched several videos with persons saying that their, their hair growth has plateaued and I can understand why they feel that way because I'm at that stage now where I'm at BSL and I've been at BSL for the last three to four years. And it's very frustrating because as soon as my hair starts to grow longer than BSL, there are issues. So the question is, what am I doing wrong? It feels as though my routine that I've been, um, you know, using for the last few years is geared more towards my hair when it was shorter than BSL. So <laughs> it seems like I have to change up things. That's how I'm looking at it. It seems like I have to change up things. And because of that, I, you know, you become demotivated and you're like, Ugh, what's the point? I'm doing a hair video and I was like, do I even want to let down my hair? today do <laughs> Should I just put it back in a bun? But no, it's the integrity of my channel. It's a hair update and I thought that it's best for you to come and just see how my hair looks at present. So apart from me being tired of my hair, I just wanted to go through some changes that are to come and some changes that have already been implemented. So if you checked out my last relaxer video, you would have seen that I changed my relaxer. I changed my relaxer from the ORS relaxer kit and also the ORS lie relaxer. So that whole brand has just been removed from out of my relaxer day process. And I've gone for dark and lovely. Now, I'm still in the trial phase of dark and lovely. I used it once and the results were okay. I didn't get any burns and I felt good about that. So I'm going to give it another try. But the major change coming to my relaxer day is I'm going to be self-relaxing now guys. I'm going to be self-relaxing. There is this level of anxiety that I feel when someone else touches my hair and I think because I'm at the stage where I'm quote unquote tired of my hair or just you know sort of fed up with the progress of my hair. I just do not feel as though I want anyone else in my hair. As I said, this anxiety when the hairstylist is in my hair and she's combing my hair, she's combing my hair and I can feel the tension of her pulling my hair, especially when I'm at the sink and I can't see what's going on back there, what hair is coming out, what she's doing. I feel like I just, I, this rage consumes me, but I don't let it show at all. And I'm like, I'm not gonna continue on, on my hair journey, going to the hairdresser and having to deal with these sort of emotions. It's best that I learn how to relax my hair my own self and, you know, rid myself of that 
emotion. Anxiety is something that I don't like to feel and it's something that frustrates me because coming out of all of that anxiety, you guys saw the video where I said that, you know, I had a lot of burns and I had to cut off my hair, etc. All of that. When you leave the hairdresser, you're supposed to leave and you're supposed to feel good. I'm not supposed to be leaving the hairdresser like, dang, look at all that hair loss. Like, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm done. I'm done. So I've already geared up my mom because she's going to be helping me. So that's the plan going forward. I'm going to be self-relaxing. So best believe I've already started watching a whole bunch of videos on how to self-relax. So coming to you, coming to you very, very, very soon. <laughs> Another change in my regimen are my wash days. So for the last 11 years, I believe, since I've been on my hair journey, it's going to be 12 this year. I've been washing my hair every week. Every week I wash my hair in deep condition, with the exception though when I have in protective hairstyles, right? But that's far and few. So as of recently, what I started doing was washing my hair every two weeks. And to be honest guys, I struggled with this because I mentally, I mentally struggled with this decision because I know that when my hair reaches seven days post wash day, my scalp starts to itch. But what I've realized is that recently, since I've started controlling the itch and my scalp isn't all that dry, you know, stretching my wash days for two weeks has actually been a little easier. So I'm not getting all that itch that I'm accustomed to and the main reason for me doing this was because I lose majority of my hair on wash day. Whether it is through shedding or breakage, I am trying to reduce manipulation. So if it is that I now have to manipulate my hair twice a month as opposed to four times a month, I am seeing that I'll be cutting down whatever breakage that I'm experiencing by half. And for me, that's progress. That's another change that I'm hoping would really see my hair out of this plateau BSL stage. And you know, you know, improved the overall thickness and health of my hair so that has been going really well and um, I can't complain I like when I get an extra week and I don't have to do anything to my hair like I just laze around the house and just read and do other not important stuff <laughs> I get a little bit more extra time for myself so I can't say no to that so you guys don't know but I damaged my foot a few weeks ago so I've been home for the last few weeks not able to go anywhere pretty much and so I haven't been doing much to my hair my hair has just been in some twists and that's it that's what I took out this morning and this is what we have here working with um, I haven't been manipulating my hair as much but what I plan to do I hear somebody coming like it's my mom I'm sure it's off. Dad! Yes, mom. Dad! Mommy, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm filming. Do you have your key? No. <laughs> yeah. So I've been on leave for the last few weeks. And so I have just haven't been dealing with my hair. I haven't touched my hair. So I feel good about that. What I'm planning to do is to see whether I should do a long-term protective hairstyle because I feel that that's where I have to go in order for me to, you know, see any sort of growth or progress in my hair. Just do bare minimum. And in order for me to do the bare minimum to my hair, I have to protective style. So I'm thinking about inserting some braids to my hair. I'm not doing the small box braids, guys. I'm not doing the small box braids. <laughs> <laughs> but what I probably will do are some cornrows or you know some bigger size twist or bigger size box braids so I'll see how that is it's 12 o'clock I don't know if you guys can hear can you guys hear it yeah so I'm looking to do that so that means of course that I'll be stretching my relaxer for a little bit longer than 10 to 12 weeks maybe about 15 16 weeks but I'm hoping that at that stage when I'm finished with my relaxer I will analyze the health of my hair and determine whether or not I need to cut so the reason for me stretching is because if I do have to cut when I do cut I'm not gonna be set back as much I may still probably be at bra strap length and not back to shoulder length or you know somewhere a little shorter but I've become so accustomed to to my brush up length here that I really don't want to go any shorter than it guys I don't want to go any shorter than BSL I'm fine with it just the way that it is so that is the plan for the upcoming weeks so yes if my hair doesn't look like how I want it to look after I get my April or May relaxer I'll be cutting I will be cutting my hair so I'm hopeful that the results would be good but I know a few weeks ago I'm gonna see if I can find the footage and insert it for you that same area you know that under process area at the back that just did not look right it, it just I, 
<sighs> I filmed a whole video and I just didn't even put it up because I just did not like the way that my hair looked. So um, if that is, you know, continuing to bring me grief, every time I look at it, then I'm going to cut it. So that's that's my update, guys. Um, I, uh, I can't say I hope you enjoy it, but I just wanted to, to let you know what's the status with my hair and what I plan to do going forward, um, just for me to materialize some, some, some length, man. And just, you know, have my hair feeling good again. Right now, it's not bad. Like, it's not bad right now. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. But I just know the potential of my hair and I want to be able to, to see that potential, you know? So yeah, let me know down below if you have made any changes to your hair regimen and let me know what those changes are as well. Are you seeing results? Is your hair, you know, breaking less? Does it look a lot fuller? Does it look a lot healthy and feel a lot healthier? Let me know. I would love for us to start that discussion below, all right? Oh, don't forget, follow me over on Instagram. Um, I started posting back regularly. I know that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. But follow me over on Instagram for more, you know, more frequent updates and of course if you're interested as well follow me over on tiktok All right so yes if you haven't yet already hit the subscribe button like this video share this video with a friend girl tell a friend to tell a friend to turn on their notifications as well yes we want you to be notified every time i post and of course stay tuned till next week sunday when i'll be posting a new video right so until then take care bye